What is up, everybody? To the first TV today, and we have to talk about IGN doing a little Xbox tax, a little engagement farming. They really want to get those negative Xbox clicks, Xbox angry Xbox fan clicks right here with this post right here. So, their recent post has got a lot of traction. So much so that there's so much traction that even the community knows for Twitter had to do a community strike for this post because it's kind of misleading. But this is the post that IGN decided to make, and then at this point, I think they're doing it just for a clearly engagement, get that, get the, get the angry Xbox fans to their pages, and get the uh, super Sony fanboys to promote this nonsense. But this is the post that got them in a lot of hot water yesterday. So they state that Xbox finally has some first-party games coming this year, <laughs> and it's just laughable because Xbox have more first-party games than PlayStation last year and this year as well but you know they just said xbox just finally has some first party games and it's surprising it looks more promising than the ps5's 2024 offerings and then promoting their new episode as well so once again i just think this is clearly engagement get xbox fans angry to watch their video or their podcast whatever they're trying to promote right here but yeah this is just a dumb title and just so misleading because xbox has been pretty much producing first party games last year and this year while PlayStation pretty much hasn't been producing, producing too much of any first party title, so. Uh, and they got community notice saying, hey, last year, Xbox released High Fire Rush, Redfall, Minecraft Legends, Forza Motorsport, Starfield, and updates for the Wild Service game. So Xbox was producing and pulling a lot of games the last year, a lot of first party games, while PlayStation didn't, so. It's just sad that IGN is just now saying that, hey, Xbox, you're just not getting your stuff together when they have been doing that for this year and last year, so. It's fascinating. And I think Xbox had six first party games in 2023. Definitely a lot more than PlayStation. Xbox put out more first party content than Sony last year too and 2021. Yeah, Xbox only bad year of this generation was 2022. Other than that, they've been having pretty spot on good years for first party, first party content. We can't say the same for PlayStation though. <laughs> we really can't say the same for PlayStation. People bragging about how many 50 million consoles PS5 was sold, but th but what does that give you? No first party content. They're relying on third party publishers, paying them off to make a somewhat second party or whatever. It's like, where's the first party content from PlayStation? No one knows. Um, and yet, this will be the result. I don't understand why Sony fanboys are actually like. You have to be a complete. Uh, I don't. Wanna, I'm trying to be nice, but you got to be slow. To, to be happy about this you're saying that hey more people are going to buy the ps5 still but you're getting less content you're getting less first party content from the first party studios you're only getting third party stuff so it's like is that really something to brag about you want a playstation that doesn't play third party publisher stuff not a, not first party originals doesn't make any sense that's like getting netflix to only watch um projects outside of netflix creative stuff <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got Netflix to watch Stranger Things, to watch their exclusive stuff. You don't get Netflix to watch um, The Matrix or whatever. So I guess that's, I guess Sony fan was happy with that. So disappointed to see you carrying on the Steam in 2024. Such a necessary and factual and correct dig. Xbox had six first party games last year. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sony only had a Spider Man 2. A Horizon VR game and a PlayStation Portal that nobody cared about and a VR that pretty much nobody cared about. So IGN was just getting roasted pretty much. Gotta love that community note. IGN is just trash. People are just roasting IGN. Which I'm kind of, like I said, I think they're just doing this on purpose now at this point. <laughs> they kind of get the whole thing that they can keep putting out this nonsense, like super anti-Xbox tweets like this. And it gets traction. It's just giving them more and more traction. And they do any stupid things like this. These stupid headlines. PlayStation is going to have an insane exclusive year. And most likely they're going to add one or two surprises to the end of it. Let's see what he has here. The Last of Us Remastered, he's bragging about a remaster, a third party game, a second party game, second party, third party, second party, <laughs> third party, 
I don't know if these other games are even coming out. Yeah, we're just gonna go about those first row. But these other games are probably not even coming out as well. So this is what PlayStation is happy with: third party and second party games. Really, not one first party game in sight besides a remaster. Let's all group together when IGN posts something like this. Let's not comment on it. They are getting post engagement and money off of it since Elon doing extra money. It, pretty much, like people being angry about this just gives them more money. So. I would say just ignore them at this point, like, <laughs> because people are freaking out about this, they're just getting more and more money, like, this guy, 811, replies to it, 908k thousand views, so they're just dragging in the money, Elon is just paying them off happily because of this ridiculous nonsense right here. Uh, the ignorance is quite simply getting disgusting at this point, Yeah. <laughs> We're looking at like Xboxes and giving us first party content is just ridiculous. Okay. Glad Communos took care of them. Hashtag Xbox tax. Xbox finally has some first party games coming this year. In 2023, Xbox has its first party games. Community notes time. Yeah. All these games came out last year. Yep. IGN is going to ratio badly. You don't think they're going to change? I don't think they're going to change by this at all. People are roasting them. That's not going to change what they're doing. They're getting money off of it. They can say something stupid and they get engagement. So they're not going to change. You know, they're supposed to be respected journalists. This is crazy. You got journalists click clickbaiting to get rage engagement. It's just like the biggest gaming media outlet is trying to just put a rage inducing clickbait. It's just sad at this point. You know the situation with journalism is bad when big ass outlets get community note like that. Yeah, that is embarrassing. This is the biggest game media outlet, and they gotta get community noted by Twitter to say, "Hey, this is spreading some misinformation." That's just sad. Not sure if this is tax, sure incompetence, or impression farming, but this is a horrible look. Yeah, the biggest game media outlet has to get a community note from Twitter. And some people keep saying there's no media bias. Look at this. Yeah. IGN gets the community note. Hilarious. The community note, and he says, actually, really? <laughs> what do people respond to this with? Yep, Xbox went almost two years without AAA exclusives. The world thinks Xbox hasn't put out anything in this generation. Yeah, that mild state is still out there. The Xbox has no games, but they clearly... Now, IGN just furthers that mindset that Xbox has no games. Well, like, clearly, they had pretty much a pretty stacked year for last year for exclusives, and a pretty stacked year coming up for this year as well. It was like, that narrative is still out there that Xbox has no games, though, which is kind of ridiculous. I mean, Sony isn't dropping anything. They're a money head and third party, pretty much. But their fan base is happy with that. <laughs> They're just paying to keep games up for their systems. Or their first party studios just do nothing. Um, there is no Xbox tax sarcasm. By the way, the game media has been like this for years. Has been lying like this for years, he says. IGN got your favorite Xbox over there hurt. When are they going to realize they are falling right into the engagement trap? Uh, yeah, so at this point, it's like people just roast an IGN, and it's just sad <laughs> that a big media outlet like IGN has to be reduced to engagement form and has to get the Xbox fans angry because they're spreading misinformation. It's like this is what the biggest gaming outlet has been reduced to. Some like some Kotaku level nonsense. It feels like do better. This is just sad, but I'm going to include it right here. I don't think IGN getting roasted into oblivion is going to change what they're doing. They're going to keep on doing the same old thing because, once again, this gives them money. You know, the credibility just drops down tremendously. It still gets them money, though. So it's just sad to see. But definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like, like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.